learn how to tie knots today. Oh. Not me. Good. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, funny you should ask. We're gonna learn how to tie knots today. We're gonna learn how to tie the square knot. Square knot. Ooh, fancy. We're gonna learn how to tie the sheet bend. No sheet bend. We might, if you guys do very good, we'll learn how to tie the taut line. Um, we will learn how to tie the bow line. And we will learn how to tie the two half hitch. Okay. Okay, so if you're all ready, we're gonna pick our purple one in our left hand, blue one in our right hand, okay? Everyone got that? Okay, so you're gonna take the purple one, you're gonna put it over the blue one, okay? Like making an X like that, okay? Now, you're gonna put the purple one around like this. If, does anyone have questions about that? Okay, and now you're gonna put the purple one over the blue one again, and under where you just put it over, And if you did that right, you should be able to do this. Okay, this is a little bit more difficult, it's still pretty easy. Okay, take, um, usually you'd have like a bigger rope, but we're gonna use the same size. Okay, you have the loop like this. Can everyone do that? Okay. And you're gonna take your blue one. Okay, everyone, get, pick up your blue one. Okay, and you're gonna put through the back. Through the back. Good job. Okay, now you're gonna put the blue one around the back. Okay, and do you see what I'm doing? And then you're gonna put the blue one back under the blue. Okay, and you're gonna slide it down like that. People see that? <laughs> Pretty close. Did I do this right? Um. Did. You did your right. I think you great. Gracie did her right. Okay. Is this right? Yeah, I think that I looks right. Okay. So now we are going to learn. We already did these two. She bent and square knot. We're gonna learn how to tie the bow line. Okay. So bow line. You take your rope. Everyone, rope like this, and you fold it back on itself to make a loop. So. Everyone see how I did that? Yes. Yes. Good job. You like this? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna take your running end, this one. Okay, and you're gonna put it through the back of that. Okay. Through the back. You see that? Now you're gonna wrap it around this one. Okay. The one that's just standing there. And then you're gonna put it back through the hole. Um Yes. Which one? There's like three. There is only one hole if you did that right. See, there's like a, a three holes. One, there two. is the <laughs> hole you just put it through. Did you do it right? Uh, I do have a hole, but it's... Okay, well maybe you just made it small, and then you just pull it. Okay? So both. Did she do hers right? Uh, that looks right. Okay. Okay. We're going to move on to the two half hitch. Yeah. Pull it apart. And if you really can't pull it apart, which it's kind of sad, you can't, you can pick up your other one. Okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> We're all ready. We're going to start with double half hitch. Okay? Two half hitch. Okay. So you're going to take your rope like this. It's supposed to be tied around a pole, but we don't have poles here today. We have arms. Do you like really want to be difficult? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna make a D like that. Uh, that's more like an such O. A D. Oh, okay, more like an O, but um, yes. it's gonna oh, be okay. like. Okay. Okay, that's about. And then you're gonna put it through the back and into there. Okay. I'm gonna move. I don't need to. Okay. I want to be free. Let me go. Okay. Oh, Are you line up the window? Okay. And now you're gonna make a D. This looks more like a D down what? here. Okay, so you know how you just like pulled it through the back? Okay, so you do that. It's like this? Yep. <laughs> and then you make a D like that. Okay. It's a D. That. Nope. And then you're gonna put, put it through here and you're gonna pull it. Just make sure like you leave some room. 
don't pull it too tight, okay? Or else you'll kind of ruin the whole thing because we don't have holes. Um, so, if you did it right, you should be able to do this with it. Who needs help? Like this? Yeah, exactly like that. Thank you. Uh, okay. You are. Okay, now we're gonna try and attempt the top line hitch. Oh, no. <gasps> no, no. Okay. Untie that, <laughs> well you just tied whatever you did, okay? Untie it, okay. start from scratch. Okay, take your rope, bend it, bend it like this. Okay, I would suggest using your wrist here for this one if you're tying it without a pole. Okay. So you're gonna <laughs> split, make, my ankle, make that little loop. Yep, or you could tie it around your ankle. <laughs> um, yep. I, I, I would suggest doing that. You can yeah. see it better, yeah, see I what you're doing. Pull. And you have both hands. Oh wait, show the camera. Okay, oh, so <laughs> you're gonna do this. Okay. And then you're gonna put it around the back like you did for the okay. um, two half hitch. Like that, do you see that? Wait, what? What? So you're I gonna... haven't caught up. Okay, so you're gonna take that like that. What? Okay. You take this what? end <laughs> and you put it over uh, that. Um, like and this? And then around the... Yeah, mm. and then you put it through there. there. So and I'm then tying you... the shoe? Yes, and then you do that again, oh, okay. so you do it twice. Oh, Everyone right. see that? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I can't. I can't see. Oh God! That. And then oh, God. I'm being yeah. honest. I can't see it. <laughs> and then you make a D. Okay. What? Make a D. Uh, like this, no. and then you pull it. Like, okay, Ava. No. Can I see the knot you wanted to show? Us? Okay. Um, so put the like this. Okay, and we can smile like this. Yeah, sure. Put them in the purple over that this. Yeah, we killed the, we killed the eyes. Yeah. And then, so the blue, we're gonna take and put it in this heart thingy. But the yeah. heart. Gonna like wrap it around. Hey. Come here, my child. Uh, what? <laughs> Can I make it like a pretzel? Okay, let's restart. Okay, I don't think oh, I'm good at this. Myself. I got this fine. Okay, much better. I think this is gonna be better. A little less. Hi, I'm Ashley. And I'm Alex. And today we're going to be learning how to say let's tie knot in Chinese, Japanese, German, and Scottish Gaelic. And don't forget Spanish. That's right. We're going to be starting off with Japanese, which is musubime o musubu. Musubime o musubu. Mm -hmm. Musubime o musubu. Chinese is rong wamen dajie. Rong wamen dajie. Rong wamen dajie. German is las uns einen noten machen. Las uns einen noten machen. Mm -hmm. Already. Las uns einen noten machen. Scots Gaelic is lime lis nedem. Lime lis nedem. Lime lis nedem. Now in Spanish we have hagamos nudos. Hagamos nudos. Correct? Hagamos nudos. And that was Let's Tie Knots in several languages. 
Now we're going to see Hannah draw a knot. Hi, my name is Hannah, and today I'm going to be drawing a square knot. Now, you may have seen a square knot in Beverly's demonstration earlier, aka the first knot. Um, I'm going to be drawing it as if it was loose and not tightened. So, first I'm going to start drawing the base of it. Next up, we're going to start making we're going to start drawing around the base. The stopping when each of the bases intertwine with each other. So we are going to draw the knot as if it was being performed. We're going to loop around. So, as a knot is drawn like this, you then are going to want to darken up your lines so that you can see which one is actually part of your drawing and which part is part of the base. Okay, after you finish darkening up the ropes, you want to get rid of any of the existing base that was used. And make sure that all the lines are with the same width with each other, so that it looks more natural. After that, you then want to make your ropes, well, look exactly like ropes. So you might start drawing a few details in each other like this. And then there you have it. You have your square knot right here, just like that. You could also color it if you want to or do some shading on it. Next up, Beverly and Olivia are going to be talking about boat knots. Thanks for that awesome picture, Hannah. Now, more about sailing knots. Different types of sailing knots can also include half hitch, figure eight, bowline, reef knots, rolling hitch, and quarter hitch, sheet bend, double sheet bend, and round turn with two half hitch. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the bowline knot. The bowline knot is for fastening a mooring line to a post or ring. It's commonly used for rescue purposes as well. Okay, okay. Okay, so the sheet bend is used for joining two different ropes together, and it's best used for under load knots, and um, it creates less pressure and, and under any strain, um, and it's better than a reef knot. It can actually be also be better quality when it's also a loose knot too. And the round turn into half fin hitch is basically what its, what its name is. The reason why the title is pretty much the knot is because it's wrapped around an object in a little loop-de-loop -loop with a two half hitch to tie off securely. It mostly secures different types of ropes to poles. All right, folks, and that's it. We'll be back next time with a new topic. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>